Hey guys, so here's video number two, and a lot of people wanted to know why I was making a video, why I wanted to get into gaming. So this video is more life of the girlfriend of a gamer. And I know a lot of you people are wondering like, oh, how hard can it be? Oh my God, you have no idea. So a lot of people think you get into relationships with a gamer and it's like, oh, this will be fun. We'll play games together. We'll have videos and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Oh my god, girlfriend, you have no idea what you're in for. Dating a gamer, I just, I had to let off some steam and make this video. And it's kind of funny, but I have to give you the life of a gamer girlfriend. And, oh my god. Now, let me just phrase that I'm not talking about the type of gamer that's a loser, that has no job. My boyfriend has a great job. He's a wonderful person. He's going back to school to get his computer science degree. He's not lazy. Well, okay, maybe a little. But he's not lazy. He's really, he's a good guy. He's the love of my life. And I'm not downing him at all whatsoever. But I do have to express for anybody out there that's thinking about dating a gamer, you should definitely know what you're in for before you get into it. So this is like my tutorial on the day in the life of being a gamer's girlfriend. So let me start with that you have to understand that gaming is number one. I, they say that it's not, and they say that you're number one, but you're so not number one. And the best way to equate it to is like a sports fan. If you have a diehard sports fan, and your husband or boyfriend just likes to watch football every single Sunday, and every single Tuesday, and every single Monday night football, and Sunday, and Saturday, and any game that comes on, it's really the same thing. But gaming just seems different, and I figured out why, though. And that's because when you're gaming... Most of the time you're in another room. When you're doing sports, or your husband's into sports or something, you're in the same room as them. So it feels different. So like I tell my boyfriend that if he's going to play for like extended amounts of time, don't hide in the office. Like come outside, move a computer to the living room and just kind of socialize with everybody because then it won't feel so bad. And it won't feel like, oh my God, all he's doing is playing games. So what is it like being a true gamer's girlfriend? Well, let's see. Okay. Do you ever talk to a wall and the wall doesn't really respond? Yeah, that's kind of like what it is. And I have to say, my boyfriend is wonderful about getting me involved. He really wants me to get involved in his games. He wants to make me a part of his games. And I give him so much credit for that. It's not like he's one of these assholes that are, you know, trying to separate his games and me. He really tries to get me involved in it. So kudos to him for that. But it doesn't make it any easier that... I'll be trying to talk to him. And this is what a conversation is like. Honey, I love you. Oh, I love you too. And he's just typing away. And then he's talking to his friends on this sound. And he's talking to his other friend on this microphone. And then they're streaming it on Twitch. And I'm sitting there going, okay. Like, okay. And now what? And they have like four different conversations going. And he's like, honey, how could you not be into this? To me, the games they're playing, they're playing Elder Scrolls Online. To me, they do more looking for things than actual playing. I don't know. I find it boring as hell. And I just can't seem to get into their games. Like, I like different games, but their games are just not for me. But it's like a day in the life of it. You'd be like, honey, I'm going out. Okay, see you later. And there he is typing away. And then other times, like, I don't even think he notices me. I mean, I could fucking get naked, stand in front of him, and he'll be like, honey, just wait one second. Just let me just finish this one second. I swear to you, that's what it's like. And like I said, it's no different than a football player or someone that's totally into football. They can't get enough football. It's the same thing. I just don't get it. I like to game, but I can't imagine it taking over everything. And it's like they'll sit there and they'll like not even realize that they're sitting there for like hours upon hours just playing. And you'd be like, hey, honey, you want to go to the store? No, that's okay. And you kind of like have to bargain with them a little. Like that's one thing that I had to do. I wanted him to come with me to the IRS last week. So I was like, Honey, and he lives in another state, so he comes here every two weeks, or I go there every two weeks, so we see each other a lot, but he has plenty of time to game when he's not with me, 
But, of course, he has the game with me, and he's really good. So I'm not downing him at all. But it's just funny to where he's like, honey, do I have to go? Uh, yeah, you do have to go with me because you're my boyfriend and I want the company. And I knew that he was dying to stay home and play games. So the key to being a gamer's girlfriend is you can't say, no, you're not going to play games or you're not going to stay home and play games. No, you can't do that. That will totally freak them out. You have to bargain with them and you have to say, honey, I will do this for you if you come with me. Then they can't deny it. Or sexual favors always work and then they won't deny it. But you can't be the nagging girlfriend and say, oh, you play more games than me or you care about it. You can't do that because that will totally turn them off. So you have to be smart about it and you have to just think with your head and think, hmm, if I want him off games, what do I need to do? What do I need to tell him to get him off the game without sounding like a naggy bitch? Because you don't want to do that. So rule number one in being a gamer's girlfriend, don't nag them about playing. You won't get anywhere. Rule number two, use sexual favors as a way to get him off the game. But don't try to get naked when he's on the game because if he's heavily involved, you'll still wait and you'll feel like an ass. Just, that's rule number two. Rule number three is if he wants to involve you in his gaming, try to get involved in one way or another because you're really not going to have a choice. And if you want to be a part of his life, then you have to enjoy that's the part of his life. And rule number four and the final rule of all is don't try to talk to them when they're in the midst of playing because you will only aggravate yourself completely aggravate yourself. So these are the things that I've learned over the last six, seven months about how to date a gamer. And because it is so hard, I felt compelled to share it with you guys. And I am going to start my own gaming. And I know I've been saying this for like a month already, but I haven't really found a game that I liked. I don't like Elder Scrolls. I don't like having games that you have to find stuff all over the place. I don't like League of Legends. I, I may do like um, Grand Theft Auto. I may do just fun games, racing games, just fun games, fun games that are just fun, that you don't have to worry about finding a billion things and you can just play. So I haven't decided one yet. When I find the right game, I promise you I'm going to start and then hopefully I'll get him involved and I'll kick his ass live right on YouTube. So that's what I have for you guys. So those are my rules about dating a gamer. And Angelo, I love you to death. You're the love of my life. But I had to let off some steam and let other people know because I'm sure there's other people out there that are frustrated and don't know what it's like to date a gamer. So hats off to you. I love you guys and have a good night. Peace out.